This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Crankcase. The figure is part of the first wave of Deluxe Class figures for the Dark of the Moon toy line. Mm -hmm. Folks, uh, well, I was looking for, I was really looking forward to this, getting this figure, and it's still good. Uh, it just has a lot of, uh, how do I say this, a mixture of quality maybe manufacturing issues that really d diminishes the the appeal of this figure but we'll get to that in a little while so let me give you a, a show of this figure um, let me just stand him up it's pretty cool uh, I like the whole concept of these dreads and I think there's like three of them here's the first one we get uh, crankcase uh, as you can see, this is the neutered version. Um, both uh, hands have their middle fingers uh, torn off or shaved off. And uh, clearly, as you can see, excuse me, come on now. Um, wait, hold on. Here is the promotional photography. As you can see, his middle finger is supposed to be extended a bit. And it's not. I think it was a last minute de decision on the part of Hasbro to just shave off the middle finger. And I can see why. It's not so much as a safety issue since the hand is made of a soft rubbery plastic. It's really more of a I, I think they didn't want to offend people because with the extended middle finger it looked like he was giving the dirty finger and I think that's more of the reason more than safety well safety I think played a part in it because it was really pointed and even if it were soft rubbery plastic it could still poke somebody maybe in the eye or in the face but I think it's more of the uh, the the expression that the hand was connoting with the extended finger so you know I'm, doesn't bother me one bit. I was actually quite worried about how I was going to review the figure with, with that, uh, with, with the finger, with all the fingers intact, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad um, Hasbro solved that issue for me. So anyway, uh, here he is. Very cool, very well made, very well designed figure. Actually, um, I, I've been thinking about these dreads uh, for some time now and Michael Bay says that they I don't know what he says I don't even care but they kind of remind me of Insecticons I think Michael Bay while doing research watched a couple of episodes in G1 uh, about the Insecticons and uh, if if my hunch is correct we'll get three of these guys uh, maybe Crowbar and Flack but uh, and I think they they, they sort of Kind of, I don't know. I don't. I could be wrong. Um, the modern day Insecticons of of the movie verse, because this guy looks like shrapnel with his pincers. But I could be wrong. They could just be insect looking robots. So very cool. Um, I think, or well, at least Insecticon inspired robots. Light piping. Before I forget. It's okay. Um, not the best in the world, but it is pretty ominous, pretty creepy. Uh, right there. Okay, uh, he's got these dreadlocks on him. They are made of soft rubbery plastic. They're just painted in gold. Well painted, well executed. Uh, he's got a mech tech weapon, which uh, pegs on to either arm, forearm. And uh, it's a gun that, when you pull this lever back, turns into a claw. I don't know how that can be a weapon. Maybe just for grabbing onto things. He's supposed to be a stealth operative, just like a crowbar. And uh, gathering information on the Autobots and reporting back to Megatron. That's what the bio says. Um, and again, I, I really, really like this whole concept of the dreads. The only problem I have with the toy is that there's just so many loose joints on this one. For some reason, the whole engineering about this guy is so loose. And 
it, it just turns me off uh, in terms of playability, posability. Uh, the the most loose or the loosest joint actually are the hips, which I've managed to tighten with some nail polish, clear nail polish, and then snap back the joint, and now it's it's rock solid. But I don't want to keep doing that for all the joints. I don't even know how to fix the other joint. I'm not. I'm just too. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm just not gonna go there anymore. Uh, that's the only problem I have with the figure, especially this back part. It's just. It feels like it's been moved several times and they could have easily fixed that with a clearance issue on the joints and you know that's just a little bit disappointing my brother actually I showed this to my brother and you know he even noticed the feet are loose and well that whole you know tailgate bottom of the feet concept works if it if the joints were tight but if they're not he's sort of uh, rocking back and forth with these loose joints so a little bit disappointed with that but other than that the whole concept of this figure is really incredible it's, it's quite interesting and uh, I'm really liking it uh, I, I hope they do all the, the all the dreads in, in deluxe form and uh, yeah I hope to complete them and they'll, they'll, be a, they'll, be, they'll look great on the shelf with the records because the records are like three of them I think as well. So anyway, um, so that's that. Articulation, uh, he's got a swivel neck with, because of transformation, he's got a hinge that goes up and down. He's got a ball jointed shoulder, which is also loose. He's got a bicep swivel, swivel, a hinge elbow, and a swivel wrist. No waist articulation. He's got a ball jointed hip, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, and some ankle articulation, but that's about it. Okay, so let's transform him. First thing you want to do, you want to do the arms. Raise them up like that. Fold out the wheels. Fold the hands inward. Um, yep. You want to go ahead and just fold these up. Oh, he's even got those uh, clip on system uh, bars which you can clip on weapons to. Okay, so that's that. Then this one is probably the hardest part just snaps like that. It's easy now because I've, I've snapped it a couple of times now but when you open the package snapping it back can be a little bit scary but it is possible. So just that. Alright, I'll keep these there for now. Um, Alright, uh, let's do the legs. Go ahead and rotate them. Um, go ahead and move the feet up. Go ahead and move the wheels out. Come on, like that. Focus. Okay. Go and they tab in outward like that. And uh, yeah, they just fold. No, we'll do that last. Uh, fold in the, the toes like that. And Hold the back part like that. Um, okay, next you want to do is uh, you want to fold the hips inward and fold the feet, legs up like that. Now they're tight because of the uh, clear nail polish I applied, but they were so loose when I opened them up in packaging. From packaging, so fold the head down, like that, and then put the dreads inward as close as possible to inward and then close it up with the you know with the chest piece so like that okay yeah and then go ahead and fold down the show oh see see what I mean these, these joints just keep popping out Okay. Um, go ahead and tuck the doors in, just like that. Do the same on the other side. Come on now. Tuck it in and then tab the bumper onto the fenders. Like that. Okay. And then you can go ahead and fold the Claws. Or you can leave them out, I suppose, in battle mode, maybe in the movie. 
comes up with some claws in alt mode. That's pretty cool. So we'll close it for now. That there is some warping because it's packed this way. The soft rubbery plastic got squished. And lastly, go ahead and join the feet. That and then uh, just clip it like that. Okay. And close. All right. And there is. Well, you can put the tech weapon on top. There is Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class crankcase in his. Chevy Suburban Alt mode. And it is again small. I don't mind. I mean, the reduction in size and scale doesn't bother me too much. Here is Revenge of the Fallen. Ken Bumbling. As you can see, clearly not in scale. If he's a Chevy Suburban, he's got to be bigger, a lot bigger than a Camaro. And clearly Hasbro has gone small. But that's fine, you know. Um, he's in robot mode, I forgot to show you, but he's about the same size as. Uh, Deluxe class uh, Ironhide from the Hunt for the Decepticons toy line. So there you go. It's a great toy. If you can find a way to tighten the joints, then he, he'd be great. Um, some people are really annoyed with this that the, the suspension was too high. It, it's fine. It doesn't bother me too much. Uh, he rolls very well on a not too smooth surface, uh, if you can. A little bit of kibble underneath, but that's fine. That's really fine. I'm, I'm really hoping to complete all the dreads uh, as much as the directors. There you go. Transformers, uh, Darker of the Moon, Deluxe Class, Crankcase. Um, thanks for watching.